Hello, Mr. Kennedy. My name is Dan Nicewonder, independent media from Pasadena, also KPFK FM's Rebel Alliance News. I'm the grandson of Swiss immigrants, and I know you mentioned that most of the people coming across the border were coming because of money and not because of, because of political asylum. I know my grandparents came here because they wanted a new life here in the United States. That being said, the U.S. Congressional Budget Office own report they released last year from 1989 to 2019, the bottom 50% of the population economically was sharing 2% of the wealth. So we have to deal with these issues. And when there is a Kennedy administration, are we going to see a sequel to the New Deal, new jobs programs, regulating Wall Street, securing Social Security? What, what do you uh, intend to do once you are president of the United States? No, I, I, would, I mean, I am a traditional Kennedy Democrat. I think the human dignity, and particularly dignity of the workers, is and the and the, the the American middle class are the foundation stones not only of our economy but American democracy. I grew up in a, a period in American history that economists call the Great Prosperity. It was a period of approximately you know 50 years, 40 to 50 years following World War II when the American middle class became the greatest economic engine in the history of mankind. So at the time that I was a young man, our country owned half the wealth on the face of the earth. And, um, and the American middle class was flourishing. We were producing products that everybody in the world wanted. You know, people, when I went abroad, people would do anything to buy Levi jeans that I was wearing. People wanted American cars in Europe. I traveled a lot with my father and my mother when I was little. And they wanted our electronics. You know, RCA Victrola and radios uh, and uh, transistor radios, all these things that we had invented. And we were beloved around the world. People loved the United States of America.